Hey, what is going on, everyone? It is Super here, bringing you another Black Ops 3 beta sniping gameplay here, of course, using the Locust. If you guys actually want me to use um, the Draken and upload a video on it, let me know. Uh, whenever I have used it, I've done really, really well. You know, it's, the sniper is just really fucking good. It definitely needs a little bit of tuning. Um, I don't think it's the damage. I think it's the rate of fire. And um, definitely the... Uh, the, the sway and the way the scope bounces, it pretty much has no recoil. Uh, so if you guys want me to make a video on the Draken, if it's overpowered and show off some, uh, you know, really nice gameplay, let me know. I'll get it for you guys. But what I'm bringing you guys uh, today is this video talking about sniping. And as you guys see, I'm playing here on Stronghold. This is the new map that they put into the beta yesterday, along with a couple of updates, like a, a small little patch. I uh, made the Xbox One version of the beta available for everyone and um, with it came like a sniper patch and this is the one that the PS4 guys got that um, you know they were praising they were saying it makes sniping a lot easier and uh, you know pretty much you could compete with people and I agree man this patch that just happened has made sniping for me on this game really really fun and let me give you guys an example here or let me you know give you guys some perspective the first couple of days of the beta i was not having fun at all and a lot of people are saying you know the sniping is challenging you know i like it and stuff like that but they were more talking about clips and clips are the last thing on my mind right now i don't care about hitting any if i hit zero quad feeds or zero clips in this beta um you know i'm still gonna be happy because i don't care about clips in the beta once the game comes out that's a different story you know of course i'm gonna go for a lot more clips and stuff i just want to enjoy the game for what it is right now and um you know give some cr constructive criticism and you know for the people who are saying that it's challenging they were more talking about clips but I was more talking about being actually competitive in the game, not being completely destroyed by fully automatics uh, that kill in three bullets in like half a second. And with this new sniper patch, I feel that I'm actually able to compete from medium range, close range, obviously snipers, you know, uh, they're going to get destroyed by some machine gun shotguns and stuff like that, which they should, unless you're just, uh, you know, quicker than the other person. But I feel that I'm able to compete against people at medium to long range which is really really good i don't know exactly what they did i know that they were going to fix the scope and sensitivity to be the same as your regular sensitivity when you're not scoped in um but it feels like it to me it feels like it's just easier to be on target maybe they changed the uh the hitbox on people the head detection for the sniping it feels like i'm um, so much more accurate now i'm hitting a lot of my shots i'm actually able to drag scope which is amazing for me because that's sort of like my specialty that's what i like to do i cannot i suck at like pop shotting and just plain quick scoping I, I was never good at that that's why i was never good at like model for two model for three because that's what you have to do in those games just like pop shot and quick scope uh, I was, that's why I was better at like Block Ops 2, Block Ops 1 where you could drag scope a lot easier. And even though there's no aim assist here with this last sniper patch, the uh, lowered sensitivity when, you, when you're scoped in, I'm able to uh, drag scope just fine. So the sniping right now is amazing and I'm having a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little gameplay and I'll see you guys later.